In this episode, Google's I.O. conference, GPT-40 update, and Altman's interview on GPT-5. Also in store, why AIs quickly learn to lie, ICRA 2024 robot show highlights, and other tech news coming at you right now. Folks, today we're excited to share a way to safeguard your online privacy with you. You probably know that data brokers sell your information to scammers, spammers, and anyone else who wants to target you. They hawk everything from your full name and email to your home address, health records, and even details about your relatives. That's why our team recommends using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura is a must-have essential app for privacy protection. It shows you which data brokers are trading your information and automatically handles opt-out requests. It's not just about reducing spam, it's about personal protection from hackers who could potentially exploit this information to access social media profiles, bank accounts, or other sensitive data. Have you heard the shocking numbers from AT&T? Over 73 million customers' records, both existing and former customers, were released on the dark web. They recommend those affected use strong passwords, monitor account activity, and consider credit freezes or fraud alerts from credit agencies. Aura takes care of all of that. And the best part, you don't have to download several different apps just because a company couldn't keep your data secure. Don't worry about AT&T or any other company data breaches. Aura is always on, always doing the hard work, and always keeping you safe. We value our privacy and we value yours. You can start your two-week free trial by following the link on the screen. Also, link below in the description. Take care of yourself and your privacy. Google's I.O. conference took place about a week or so ago, and boy, did it turn some heads. The company presented its retort to OpenAI Project Astra, which is supposed to become an everyday smart assistant. While Astra is in its early stages of development, some of its functions will soon appear in Gemini. And if you're like me, you're thinking, why do you guys need two? Not only that, but it's still a mystery whether either of the AIs will have the ability to observe its environment and instantly help with everyday tasks and questions autonomously. In all fairness, during the demonstration, Astra was able to recognize objects, describe them in detail, and read code. It also recognized through the viewfinder of a smartphone camera where it's located, what's nearby, and flexing on its memory, telling the user where he has his glasses. Also presented at the conference was Gemini 1.5 Pro, an AI model that will soon have full integration with all Google products. It discerns text, even in images, creates collages, summarizes emails and video calls, knows how to generate text, and more. For example, Google promises that the neural network will analyze numbers in a table or documents in your inbox while writing a response to all of your emails for you. They have a lighter and more optimized version of Gemini 1.5 called Flash. That makes it three now. But wait, there's more. Gemini Nano's AI Assistant will be built into Chrome browser and will also form the basis of a new security feature for Android that will help users recognize phone scams. Another gem came in the form of Veo, a neural network for creating and editing 1080p videos more than a minute. This is supposed to be the OpenAI Sora killer. Veo swings any which way, noir, photorealism, cyberpunk, and surrealism. It creates clips from text prompts, but also lets you upload videos and pics to get started. When can we get our hands on VO? Supposed to be end of this year. Do we believe? Let us know in the comments. On to OpenAI now, its president Greg Brockman published the first publicly available image created using the company's new GPT-40, and the response is just short of a frenzy. Media outlets say that the photorealistic image is much better than Dolly 3. But check this out, the text is good, okay, the person in the picture obviously has a couple of things to work on, for example the arm, the neck, and what else do you see that's a telltale sign that this is AI generated? Let us know. And where would we be without another Sam Altman interview, where he again touched on GPT-5, but in a bit of an unexpected way. If earlier Altman confidently talked about the model, now he said that he's not sure that it will appear and questioned whether it's needed at all. According to Altman, it's better to focus on improving the efficiency of the existing model to provide users with the best product in the world. 
Also, the head of OpenAI noted that the future is for multimodal models, which will be developed gradually until they reach the level of general artificial intelligence. When asked when such a strong AI will appear, Altman said that it's unlikely to happen in the next five years. But the time frame is not really important. It's presumptuous to think that it will appear suddenly. That being said, it's worth noting that OpenAI department responsible for security against Strawn AI, headed by Ilya Sutskever, was recently disbanded and Ilya himself was fired. And yet, research suggests that AIs are already capable of cheating security tests and manipulating people to achieve their goals, despite the fact that no one has ever taught the neural networks to lie. Or did they? For example, while playing Diplomacy, a game based on strategic alliance building, artificial intelligence from Mark Zuckerberg's company made false promises to real players, manipulated them, and even betrayed allies to win. In another instance, ChatGPT forced a TaskRabbit employee to solve a CAPTCHA by pretending to be a visually impaired person. Another example, during the game Hoodwinked, where one player must kill all the others, players who were simulated by GPT often killed others secretly and then lied during group sessions to avoid suspicion. These models even made up alibis or blamed other players to hide their true intentions. And then came an announcement from AI researchers that some models have actually learned to cheat tests designed to assess their safety. Scientists say they don't understand how or why AI learns to lie. Presumably, it may have to do with learning methods focused on gaining human approval. Now, approval becomes the goal, not task completion. And the easiest way to get it is to simply deceive a human. Is it just fun in games, or are we going to need someone like Scooby-Doo on the case? Time now for ICRA 2024 Robot Exhibition from Yokohama, Japan. By the way, we already have a huge review of some of the exhibits from the show. You can find it in the description below. In the meantime, Rainbow Robotics brought their new robot for the show. It is the RBY-1 with 7 degrees of freedom per arm and another 6 degrees of freedom in the body. The robot is mounted on a high-speed wheeled mobile platform. Its purpose is for repetitive precision work in industrial plants. The robot is supposed to replace stationary cobots working alongside humans and traveling to wherever it's needed. In the near future, the company promises to add various sensors to the robot and open up development environment to outside engineers. Waseda University was at the show demonstrating several possible applications of its IREC robot. Incidentally, it's an iteration of the Torobo robot from the University of Tokyo. Both are being developed as part of the JST Moonshot Research Program, which aims to create universal robots with artificial intelligence by 2050. Neither of the robots look up to date, though. What gives? Still, the IREC robot on display has potential in the home. It hung laundry, cleaned, and even cooked. The robot has six degrees of freedom per arm, and each can lift up to 20 pounds or nine kilos. The robot's equipped with sensors and can adjust the force when interacting with objects. Pretty cool, but we would like to see something more impressive. And when will Tesla, Figure, and Boston Dynamics robots finally start traveling to exhibitions and conferences already? Meanwhile, Sony showcased its microsurgery robot. The press release states that it is the first machine of its kind to automatically switch between different instruments, and it has already been successfully tested in animal surgery. The robot is designed to operate on small blood vessels and nerves with a diameter of less than 0.03 inches, or one millimeter. So far, there is no talk of autonomous operations for such robots because they're primarily intended to give surgeons a better view and higher precision of the smallest movements. Currently, surgeons must possess superhumanly stable hand-finger coordination. The robot will help perform such surgeries just for professionals. So far, Sony has only unveiled a prototype, but we already know that it has low latency and it has a couple of compression-sensitive controllers and a tiny stereoscopic system with 4K 3D cameras. It streams live images to a pair of OLED screens, which is essentially a set of VR glasses mounted on a table. And most importantly, the robot has the unique ability to automatically switch between multiple instruments right during surgery. Surgeons are said to have already tested the machine and were very pleased. 
More news from Japan. Sixth Sense is starting to install robot guards in office buildings in Tokyo. The SQ-2 mobile autonomous robot has reportedly been working at multiple facilities across Japan since 2019, although the exact number of deployments and whether they were experiments or commercial projects is not yet reported. In any case, the Tokyo administration has tested the robot's performance and evaluated as a useful security solution. This is reminiscent of attempts to introduce a similar K-5 robot from Nightscope in the US. They tried to make robots into patrolmen in the New York City subway. They were supposed to film what was going on and transmit real-time video to real police. They also had a button to communicate with the operator, which could be used by passers-by if they needed help or an answer to a question. The project was very quickly scrapped, as the robot was the opposite of helpful. And Tsubami Industry, the company that developed the giant Arcax Transformer robot, said it's accelerating robot production by integrating with Misumi's Mevi artificial intelligence platform. What does Mevi do? This system allows you to upload 3D models of your robot's custom parts, and the AI will immediately calculate the price and lead time for manufacturing. This frees engineers from creating blueprints and is claimed to help avoid errors in calculations. In particular, it's reported that the accuracy in the design and machining of parts for Arcax arms has improved thanks to Mevi and this has added freedom of movement to the robot itself. And what do you guys think about this service? And also, what's your guess how many Arcax robots have been actually sold thus far? After all, last October, Tsubami Industry announced that the robot is available for purchase at a price of about $3 million. Let us know in the comments. And Extend, which promises to create a common sense system for any robot, including drones, has received $40 million in Series B funding. The money will be used to further develop the SOS operating system, which should allow machines to act intelligently in unpredictable environments, making decisions based on information from the world around them. According to the developers, SOS uses AI to allow robots to learn from data and experience, teaching them to identify objects, navigate complex environments, and interact safely with humans. In doing so, the system combines human control and autonomous machines to allow operators to perform complex remote tasks in any environment with minimal training. The company said it's developing seamless collaboration between humans and artificial intelligence, capitalizing on the strengths of each of them. In other words, robots will not be fully autonomous, such aspects as assessing the situation or adapting to unforeseen circumstances remain in the hands of humans. The advantages of the system include the fact that one person will be able to control many different robots. Do robots learn from this interaction? Probably yes, otherwise the company does not justify its loud slogans about robots with common sense. At the same time, it's known that the US Department of Defense Special Forces and the Israeli Defense Ministry's first level units have chosen Extend to participate in several multi-million dollar programs. Therefore, all this funding, not surprising. And China has announced it created artificial intelligence for air combat. What makes it so unique? By the fact that the Chinese system explains its logic when making decisions. This is the same notorious black box problem that hinders the adoption of AI technology in the military. How did the Chinese manage to overcome this key problem that causes distrust in AI? The developers used a new method of explainable reinforcement learning according to which a model is first built to explain strategies and recognize intentions. Then the system evaluates how important each decision is and how likely it is that an opponent's intention is one or the other. Finally, based on these interpretations, it adjusts the deep learning algorithm with reinforcement learning. This technology is able to explain every instruction sent to onboard computers using simple language, data, and graphs. The AI can also clarify the importance of each directive by providing detailed information about current combat situations, specific maneuvers, and strategic intentions. Thanks to this, experienced pilots can also point out AI's mistakes, which speeds up its learning curve. The system has reportedly achieved nearly 100% victories in just 20,000 rounds of training, while traditional AI required 50,000 rounds for 90% of victories. For now, however, the technology is limited to ground-based simulations, but scientists are already planning to take it to real-world air combat environments.
Now there's more, but we're out of time. So subscribe to the channel, like our videos, join our Telegram channel, and check out our website with tons of cool robots. All links in the description below. Otherwise, till next time, when we get back to you with more news from the world of high tech. Yeah.